zoonotic blood-borne pathogens in non-human primates in the neotropical region, a systematic review. In this presentation, our goal is to offer you a quick summary of the research and conclusion. Please follow the links to review the research in further details. Thanks to all the authors and publishers for making this research public, thereby advancing science and innovation. Wild animals are the cause of almost 70% of all emerging diseases, and more than 60% of these diseases are zoonotic. This is a public health concern and a conservation problem. Non-human primates, or NHPs, are infected not only by gastrointestinal parasites, but also by ectoparasites, hemoparasites, bacteria, viruses, and some arthropods that affect the lungs. Until recently, just a few studies identified blood pathogens from fecal samples due to the presence of DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, inhibitors in fecal samples. Understanding which non-human primates, or NHPs, act as a wild reservoir for blood-borne pathogens will allow us to better understand the ecology of diseases and the role of NHPs in the emergence of human diseases in Ecuador, a small country in South America that lacks information on most of these pathogens. A systematic review was carried out using PRISMA guidelines from 1927 until 2019 about blood-borne pathogens present in NHPs of the Neurotropical Region, or South America and Middle America. A total of 127 publications were found in several databases. The review found in 25 genera, or 132 species of NHPs, a total of 56 blood-borne pathogens in 197 records where protozoa has the highest number of records in neotropical NHPs where n is equal to 128, compared to bacteria where n is equal to 12, and viruses where n is equal to 57. Plasmodium brasilianium and Trypanosoma cruzi are the most recorded protozoa in NHP. The neotropical primate genus with the highest number of bloodborne pathogens recorded is Alouta sp, where n is equal to 32. The use of non-invasive samples for neotropical NHPs remains poor in a group where several species are endangered or threatened. Combination of serological and molecular techniques is common when detecting bloodborne pathogens. Socioecological and ecological risk factors facilitate the transmission of these parasites. Finally, a large number of countries remain unsurveyed, such as Ecuador, which can be of public health importance. To conclude, the research for that non-human primates or NHPs are reservoirs for a large number of bloodborne pathogens. In addition, socio-ecological and ecological risk factors facilitate the transmission of these bloodborne pathogens either between NHPs or between NHPs and humans. The genus Aluata is the one that records the highest number of bloodborne pathogens. This genus has the widest range of distribution from Mexico to Argentina. <laughs>